Hello everybody, and welcome back to a Unity 5 tutorial. This is Sorcerer Studios, and in this video we are going to be learning how to put things in a loop without using Core Routine. Now what's so bad about Core Routine? It works just fine, but there's certainly a lot of coding in it. And, well, as far as coding goes, there's a lot more lines in that method than in the method that we are going to use today. So with this tutorial, we will be learning how to use Invoke and Invoke Repeating. So without further ado, let's begin. One more thing, if you like this sort of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and please hit that like button. Okay, so let's begin. So basically what we did in the last episode is we spawned our friend, or we spawned our ball, a bunch of friends, well, one friend every single second, and we did that using a core routine loop, or a core routine timer. So in this video, we are going to do the, the exact same thing but this method is a lot easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select our spawn timer and we're just going to inactivate it or deactivate it because we will not be needing it anymore. And let's create a new script. Create C sharp script and we will call this spawn timer two. So Let's open up two scripts. We will open up spawn timer 2 and let's open up our spawn timer as well. So let's open up both because we want to take some of the code from our spawn timer over here and put it in spawn timer 2. So spawn timer 2 is going to use invoke repeating. And basically, invoke basically calls upon a method in a certain amount of time. That's what invoke does. And then invoke repeating does the same exact thing, but it loops it over a customized amount of seconds. So that's what we're going to do. So this is very easy. In void start, we're just going to type invoke repeating. And then we are going to identify a method that we haven't created that we haven't created yet, but we're going to create. So we'll just call this spawn. And we want this to start. Whoops. No parentheses there. So we want this to start, let's say we want this to start three seconds later, so three seconds after the first frame of the game. And then we will have it loop every one second. So that's how that works. So basically it is the invoke repeating, and then in here you would identify the method, and then three seconds after the game begins, and then every one second following that but we haven't made our spawn method yet so we are going to type void spawn and there you have it so basically invoke repeating will call upon everything that's in this method three seconds after the game begins so now all we have to do is simply copy and paste our instantiate command into the spawn method so now in spawn timer we will copy public game object ball so public game object ball instantiate and then all that stuff that we did in the last episode so basically we're, basically we're gonna spawn a friend three seconds after the game begins and then every one second after that so let's save this and see what happens okay but before we see what happens let's create a new empty object and we will call this spawn timer 2 and we are simply going to well first drag and drop our spawn timer 2 into our scripts folder and then we will drag it into our spawn timer 2 object there we go so in spawn timer 2 as you can see we have to drag and drop our friend which is in the project folder into spawn timer 2 okay this should work perfectly let's see what happens so remember this is supposed to spawn three seconds after the game begins and then every second after that one two three alright so that is how you create a timer or a loop using invoke repeating so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you learned lots about invoke repeating and I will see you in the next tutorial bye